If I were an atheist and I saw this, I think I'd piss my pants. I'd rather have problems with urinating than with rational thinking. <laughs> Don't tell me, rational thinking is that the mechanics featured in this video we're now watching came about through the building blocks of life uh, being swirled about in ancient tide pools or uh, tumbled about in ancient thermal vents. Oh, that is the best explanation of observed data. Uh, show otherwise and win the Nobel Prize. <laughs> well, if you don't want to believe in an eternal God and want to believe in something that can wind itself up, go for it. You do understand that intelligent and intellectually honest people don't choose what to believe because they have no choice but to accept the conclusions based on evidence, right? And your evidence that all this can come about without an eternal God behind it is... Well, I tell you, when I see videos like this, I come away with the feeling that the Bible is right about God being so far above us as the stars over our head. And since stars are close and far, that's mean God is multidimensional as well. Uh, when you can switch a key word in your argument to any arbitrary word, uh, keeping the argument intact, for instance, when you say, when I see a video like this, I can I come away with a feeling that the Quran is right about God being so far above as the stars over our head, and since stars are close by, well again, when you switch a key word in your argument to an arbitrary word, keeping the argument intact, you know that it wasn't a very good one. <laughs> the Quran doesn't have stars far and near us. Instead, it has them in the lowest heaven sky, designed by designed to uh, be as guard. <clears throat> Guess what the stars are guarding against? They're to guard Allah in heaven and chase Satan away from spying on old Al. Allah. Muhammad believed that every time you see a shooting star, it was a little shooting star chasing away Satan from spying on Allah. So, hey, if you want to attack the Bible, the Quran is actually an easy target. Easier target. But still, the question is asked, how did this complexity you're now watching come about? Was it swirled around in ancient tide pools? Or uh, tumbled about in ancient thermal vents? Which is it? <laughs>